Hi everyone, this is Arindam. Welcome to my channel Grey Matters, where we talk about human behaviors. So, what are we going to discuss in today's topic? In today's topic, uh, we are going to discuss a very important thing which is also very common to all of us, and that is formation of impression. Uh, we all do form a lot of impression about the objects and the people that we see around us. But before we go uh, much deeper into this topic and uh, we discuss further, let's see uh, what are the few areas that we are going to cover today. First, we are going to talk about formation of imp uh, impression uh, followed by schemas and lastly we are going to talk about something which is called prototypes. So what is impression formation? Impression formation is basically the process by which uh, we form an impression about anything, uh, whether it be an object, whether it be a person around us in our environment. And when we talk about impression formation, uh, it is kind of something that is there uh, in all of us. So uh, you would have heard someone uh, gossiping uh, among each other, friends gossiping among, among each other about a third person uh, saying that he is very much judgmental, right? But uh, if you think about all of us are judgmental in some way or the other because all of us form impression about the people around us. So in that way, uh, impression formation is one of the most important stages uh, for the human psychology as it kind of builds the, it's kind of a building block for us to understand our environment. Uh, it is uh, of human nature to form impression. Uh, we form impression uh, like bad and good, uh, weak and strong, happy and sad. So all these things uh, are very much uh, very core to the human nature and that's why we have something called as brand loyalty in today's world where we know that we like uh, about a particular, uh, we like the shoes about a particular brand and we don't like uh, something or uh, the shoes of another brand. We like fashion clothes from some brand, we like ethnic clothes from some other brand. So this uh, how the brand loyalty or affinity towards anything that is developed by human beings is a result of formation of impression. But when we talk about uh, formation of impression, it is also important to understand that every one of us form impression. It can be uh, uh, formed very early and it can form later, but it do form. So that's why uh, formation of impression is a very important part of human psychology. However, one thing uh, is important to note that the impression that is formed that is very much correlated with how recently you have got uh, the particular information about. So it's like uh, a particular brand that you have gone to and you have uh, kind of uh, had a bad experience with it. So the bad impression will kind of last because it has it is the most recent uh, impression that has formed on your mind. Whereas even if you had a very good impression about that brand or about that particular shop, that would kind of be overshadowed by this bad impression. So there was a uh, study with uh, by Lucians in uh, 1957 that talked about uh, if two information of two sets of information is provided to a person in a delayed time frame, the one which is the last one that uh, is something that is likely to last and helps uh, eventually act uh, as uh, one of the most instrumental thing in the formation of impression. So that's how uh, we form impression and uh, that is the basically the building block as I mentioned earlier and now uh, we are going to talk about the two other parts of impression formation which is schemas and prototype. So let's now talk about uh, the second part or the second topic of today's video which is the schemas. So now uh, before going uh, into the theoretical definition of schema, uh, let's talk about what is uh, what do we mean by schema. In our day-to-day -day life, uh, it would have been really tough. Uh, it would have been really tough if we didn't had any kind of prior expectation or knowledge about the people or the objects that we generally encounter with. So uh, we needed some kind of uh, representation in our mind that would talk about or that would ease our interaction with them. Uh, many researchers have found that there are some cognitive representation in our mind that helps us uh, to do those things uh, in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, for example, uh, we have a certain kind of expectation or impression that is there uh, which are formed uh, when we see doctors, when we see police, uh, when we uh, see uh, a, a person who is worshipping in the temples. Again, uh, we have a certain kind of uh, expectation from mothers, grandmothers, uh, newborn babies. 
so these are basically something that make uh, make ourselves prepared to interact uh, with these kind of people or these kind of roles in our normal environment so if we go by uh, the theoretical definition uh, we can talk about uh, schema as a mental uh, cognitive representation of the world right around us so that's how the schema is very important uh, in our day to day interaction uh, now let's talk about the third topic of the video which is the prototype uh, now in normal world a prototype generally refers to an original form of something which is used as a standard uh, even in psychology we do the same so in psychology what prototype generally refers to uh, is basically an image of something an original image of something with all its feature and characteristics uh, let's talk about how we use it in a day in our day to day life with an exp uh, with an example rather uh, so how how we uh, we can think about an example uh, let's say uh, one day you become very much adventurous and you decided to go on a blind date now going on a blind date you don't have any information about that person no pictures uh, no profile nothing you just decided on one on basis of one single information and what is that you only know that that person uh, has, is very much athletic and that person whether it's uh, him or her has been the captain of the sports team of their college now with this very limited amount of information what your brain does uh, is basically they create uh, an image of how a athletic person would look like and that's how uh, you come to a quick conclusion whether i should go on a date a blind date with that person or not so if you see uh, in this scenario what our brain does uh, where in a scenarios where we have very less information about certain things uh, is basically it uses these prototypes of certain uh, roles or of certain uh, images and they use it to come to a quick conclusion so it is needless to say it is kind of a shortcut that our brain use to come to certain decision but uh, in this process sometime uh, we lose a lot of information uh, which are actually a new inf information so if you go to the uh, date uh, and eventually you find out that it the fact which was told to you although it's a, it's true but it was about 20 years ago and now uh, that person has completely sh uh, out of shape so it would suddenly uh, kind of be something which is not at par with your expectation because you have thought of an athletic person who seems to represent the college uh, in sports so that's how uh, prototype some sometimes uh, also uh, is something that encourages prejudice uh, which we see uh, among class creeds and races for all of these so in a way that's how prototype works although it's kind of uh, similar to what schemas that we discussed earlier but there is a very thin line between these two but uh, schemas are much more organized than prototypes because the prototypes are much more fuzzy and at the same time schemas allows a lot of flexibility in itself so that's why uh, although we talk about schema and prototype interchangeably schema is much more organized form okay so that's uh, what we had from uh, this part or this video of ours where we talked about formation of impression uh, we talked about schemas and we also talked about prototype uh, if you like this video click the like button at the same time also if you want to create uh, for want me to create many more contents like this uh, many more areas of psychology please do comment and if you want uh, you can also subscribe thank you bye